Hello babes, it's me, Shannon B for Brown Girl Bella, back to bring you more lips, lashes, and luxury. And no, I did not change my background. My background is still the same. I just moved the camera angle a little bit so that you can see more of the background behind me. Some things may be shifting and changing a little bit, but for the most part, it's still the same background. But enough of that, let's get into today's video, which is a trying on new makeup. As you know, I recently did some damage at the Sephora Spring Sale event. So I bought some goodies, which I want to share with you. Some I bought throughout the time of the sale. Some I bought a little bit before the sale, but this is all like new-ish makeup to me. And so I wanted to bring you a trying on new makeup. So without further delay, let's get started. Brown Girl Bella. with the Danessa Myricks. This is her Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. It is refillable and I've tried it for a while so it's not that new to me. It's kind of new-ish but what I love about it is the fact that it's reusable. You can screw off the top and it comes out like a dewy drop and then you also can take off the bottom this is how the refills come and then to dispense the foundation you just press right here on the bottom so I give myself three dots three and a half dots and I'll use this to blend it in um, as I said before I don't like the first wave of the smell of this but I do enjoy the coverage so thankfully the smell dissipates quickly so I'm not smelling it too too much but I love the coverage as a, and as you can see when you apply this product and kind of spread it on it does give you like a dewy glow as well which I really love with this foundation I mean it really just makes you look like your skin is just flawless and that you don't have any makeup on which of course you know I love the color of this one is 18 G which stands for golden so that is the color that I am using today. And as I said, the smell is not pleasant. Sort of reminds me of melted crayons. It has a very strong crayon kind of smell to it. But it does give you that glow. There we are. So again, love the finish that this product gives you. Just don't like the smell, but very nice. And it's perfect for like those summer days where you just want a little bit of coverage, not a whole lot. I also got in the sale the Dior Backstage. This is the Flash Perfector Concealer. And I got it in 6N, which stands for neutral. Let's open her up. And from what I've been hearing from other content creators in the makeup space, they love this. 
So we're gonna try it now and see if it works. Um, I do love the packaging though, it's really cute. Something you can put quickly into your travel makeup bag. Interesting uh, applicator, it's sort of like a paintbrush, like a small little paintbrush. Very interesting. So we're gonna put that on. And I'm going to use my concealer brush to just pat that product in. Wow, I really love this concealer. So far, so good. I like it. So far, so good. Okay, so that works. And let me get out my old faithful. I haven't used this in so long, but this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And this is in the color deep. So I'm just going to tap that right in to the concealer. Lock that in. The next product that I want to bring out is another new-ish product to me. This is Rare Beauty and this is their bronzer stick in the shade Full of Life. So we're just going to bronze up the skin a little bit. I'm going to take one of my mini base brushes by Sonia G. Just gonna start to carve out those cheekbones, blending in that bronzer. I love this bronzer because the product goes on so smoothly. And again, this is the perfect travel size to like throw into your travel bag and just go. I probably will be taking this on my next trip, which will be this coming week. So next weekend, I will be out of town again. Brooklyn is going to have a fit, I'm sure. <laughs> but, um, I am going to finally, finally um, go across the stage and um, officially become a silver star. As you know, last year I became a silver star in my sorority and we were not able to meet in person to get all of the pomp and circumstance. So this year we are going, myself and my line sister, and we're officially officially turning silver in the sorority um, next weekend. So really excited about that. Now we're gonna use the Legendary Brow Gel product. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a brow fiber brush. And it mimics small hairs on your brow and again I love it not only because it is again portable so you can take this on your excursions out but also for those like me who have very fine hairs I find that this product really does give you a nice natural look to the brows without them looking very heavy like. So, love that. I don't want my brows to look too heavy, too harsh. And this gives it just the right amount of color. without it looking too much. 
So again, it's called Legendary Brows by Charlotte Tilbury. On my Anastasia Eye Primer, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Really inexpensive. I think this was like $13, so it's on the more economically friendlier side. And it really does a good job of priming my eyes so that once I use eyeshadow, it kind of locks in my color and doesn't make it look streaky. Gives it a nice pop because of the white base. And it just adds a nice polished look to your eyeshadow. So definitely, especially if you have oily lids or seasoned eyes where sometimes you have creasing, this is a very good product for that. Next, we're going to try again the Tom Ford Bitter Peach Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I will tell you, I'm not... This is one of those that I grabbed on an impulse and I really feel like it's not really giving me the bang that I wanted. But for a basic kind of like eye that you don't need it to be over the top, you just need it to be a simple, nice looking eye. This is a good palette for that. But I feel like I probably should have gotten one of the other new formulas. But we're gonna make it do, because you know, waste not, want not here. So we are definitely going to use all of the colors. I'm using the lightest one first as like a wash of color all over the eye. And now using the upper left hand corner, I'm going to go into that taupey shade. It's a little bit more tan than the other one. And then we're going to start to carve out that lid. I mean that um, crease. So using this to just carve out that crease color. Again, these are very light colors. So if you're looking for a big effect, this is not the palette for that. Tom has some that give you more of a punch of color, but this is not one of them. This is for like that basic summer eye, not doing too much. Next, I'm going to use the bottom right, and this is going to be all over the lid. This is my lid color, actually. Let me use a flat brush. Let me use a flat head brush for that. And we're going to just pop that color right on the lid and this is the first like punch of color that this palette gives you so I'm gonna layer it on so you can really see it instead of making it a little bit more subtle like I did the rest of the eye and these are all matte colors so there are no shimmers in here. So this is going to be a totally matte eye. All right, and going back to that brush I used earlier, I'm going to use this now for the last color, which is that deep brown. I'm going to throw that into the crease. So again, nice wash of color, no muss, no fuss there but we are going to give it a nice little wing. So for that, I'm going back into Sir Thomas Ford 
with the finer side of this dual pointed eyeliner and we're going to give it a nice winged look. I love this eyeliner. You cannot go wrong with it. It gives you a foolproof look every single time. Well worth it. Because <laughs> it's like you're getting two eyeliners. Actually, three eyeliners in one. Because there's a fine felt tip on this side. There is a thicker felt tip on this side. And then in here is another refill. So you're getting a third opportunity to use this. So again, you can't go wrong. So far, so good. I've been extremely happy with it. I'm gonna line the bottom using the Wayne Goss Essential Eye Coal. And this color is in Copper Flame, which will kind of bring up a little bit the color that I have at the top using this kind of coppery eyeliner and actually you can get this at Beautylish which is where I purchased this one I like that really cute sorry guys the Sun just moved so if you were looking at it uh, earlier you saw how bright it was the Sun just shifted so <laughs> that's what's happening there all right now let's go into oh before we do that before we go into the blush let's finish off the eyes with some mascara so I did purchase a new mascara and this is an oldie but goodie this is the hypnose drama mascara from Lancome and every now and then I have to go back to Lancome this is one of my first loves in terms of mascaras and I love the wispiness and the boost my lashes get as soon as I apply it okay time for the cheeks and for that I'm going to be using a new product this is from item and it's called blushing like it's a cream blush so you're gonna open that up and the name of this is called I'm crushing so here's what the product looks like. Let me lift it up. And here is the cream blush. Ooh la la. I'm gonna get my Detail Pro. So are we going to use the mini base for this? I just tap it on and then I'm going to start to spread it out. Oh, I like this color. So far, so good. I'm really loving everything that we have been using thus far really nice and this uh, blush is not um, kind of sticky like other cream blushes you know how when you stick your brush in it almost feels like your brush is gonna stick to the product this feels very nice like I could probably use 
my finger and dab it on as well. So far, it's so good. Really nice. Really nice to positive color. Next, let's get some of this shine off. And for that, I'm going to use the Givenchy. And we're going to use the method that my uh, Sephora sales associate gave me, which was really to Tip it over and tap so that all four of the powders are now on your brush. Tap off the excess. And then we're going to just start sweeping over the face. I love the look that this powder gives me. And not only do all the powders work seamlessly together, but they create this really beautiful glow to the skin that just makes my skin feel like it looks healthy and vibrant. Really nice. Really nice. Very much worth it. And will definitely be a staple throughout the spring and summer. All right, so that was the Givenchy Prism Libre. And it has the beautiful rose in it some like chocolate kind of powder, a taupey um, tan powder, and then the taupey-ish looking one. So those are the four colors. And like I said, individually, they're beautiful, but when you tip it over, tap it, and you get all four colors, and you swirl your brush in there and then swirl it over your face, it gives you such a healthy looking glow to the skin. So, love that. And then another new product that I just got is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is called the Pillow Talk Multi Glow. It is a beautifying all over glow highlighter. And it is in the shade Dream Light, which is the darker of the two colors that she came out with. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's beautiful. Like this here. It's like a rose quartz. Very pretty. And then the powder says Pillow Talk. And then much as I do with any other product like this where there's multi colors in it, I like to strike it across the top so I can get all the colors out. And then I lightly place it in the upper corners of my cheekbones where I like to put my highlighter. All right. So that was the highlighter. Finally, we're going to now do the lips. So this is called Suburbia. I'm just gonna line it and fill it in just a little. The color that I'm gonna use is a orangey red and it is by Gucci. This is their new Rouge Liquid Matte. It's supposed to be transfer proof. The color that I got is Lizzie Tiger, which I think will go very well with the makeup look that I am doing now. Here is how the product looks. Kind of looks like their mascara tubing a little bit. Here, let me bring that out. 
So here's the mascara tubing. And then this is the tube for the liquid lipstick. And here's Lizzie Tiger on the lips. Okay, so that pinkiness that I put underneath gave it a nice coral looking color, which is exactly the look that I was going for. So here's the lips using Lizzie Tiger and Suburbia, which is from Pat McGrath. It is a pinky, rosy type of color. I use that um, underneath to line and feather in the lips. So that is it. Let's take the hair down. Makeup's on, hair's down. We're just gonna finish off the look using one more product. And this is also by Charlotte Tilbury. This is her finishing powder in number Four, which is deep fonts and we're just going to use that to take down any rest of the shine that we may have on our face and this kind of locks in everything that we've done including the Givenchy powder And voila, there you are, the finished product. Hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Also, if you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button and then tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I upload. Until next time, you have now been bellified. Take care.